Soul Surfer. I know you got Soul. Okay, peoples, today we're going to do my top favorite skate shoes of the 1990s. Don't get salty if your favorite skate shoes isn't on the list. Remember, I'm biased. I skated them. This is what I like. Maybe you like them too, but let's check it out. The first shoe we're going to start out with is the Etnies Nautis model. When I first saw this shoe in a magazine in an ad, it wasn't like today where you have the internet and all these blogs about what shoe's going to come out. I just turned the page and there it was and I knew I had to skate that shoe and I had to skate for that company. The Nautis was definitely representative of what was popular at the time. We all skated Adidas and Nike basketball shoes in the mid to late 80s and the skate shoes were just copying that, high top basketball shoes. The skate shoes added usually a little more padding but they were essentially the same. Airwalk went overboard with the extra rubber and plastic attachments and the Nautis had a little bit of that, but I loved it. Number two on the list, the Puma Liga. I bought a pair of red and white Puma Ligas in 1991, more to wear to high school, but I guess I forgot my skate shoes one day, put them on, and I loved them. I didn't take them off until they were totally destroyed. Now, skate shoes around that time were pretty big and bulky, and they were just going overboard with the padding. And when I put these on, they were light, they were thin, low profile, you could fill your board, and that's just what I wanted. They were perfect. Number three on the list, the Adidas Gazelle. I bought a pair of Adidas Gazelle in 1993. They were blue and white. I bought them right after the Puma Ligas, and they offered me essentially the same thing the Pumas were. Slim, lightweight, low profile, with great board feel and they're still great to skate in today. Number four on the list, around the same time, 92, 93, I was experimenting with shoes. I did have a shoe sponsor, but I was in Ohio and no one was seeing what I was skating. I did skate my sponsor's shoes, but I was, like I said, I was experimenting. I skated in the Pumas, Adidas. I had some Jack Purcells I skated in, some other shoes, but the Vans Chuckas really stood out to me. There were mid tops, lightweight, total board feel, they were great to skate in. The Vans Chukka looked good and it skated good. Number five on the list, the Etnies Low Cut. This shoe came out around 92, 93. I think there was a shoe that predated it called the E that had the same upper, but it was a little different. But anyhow, Etnies finally got a low top right and this shoe was very popular. I skated in a ton of them. I'd probably skate in them today. So. Number five, Etnies Low Cut. Number six, another Etnies model, the Etnies Sal 23. When these came out, I skated them a lot, loved them, had a lot of pairs, loved Sal. The shoe's still classic today, it's still being released. You can pick them up, check it out, the Etnies Sal 23. Number seven on the list, the DC Rudy Johnson 1. There's not a lot of photos of this thing floating around the internet. I wish I could get some better photos of it, but I really like this shoe. I think DC coming out as a new shoe company, doing some pretty good shoes to skate in was great for skateboarding. Number eight on the list is the DC Rick Howard one. Now looking at this shoe right now, it looks kind of bulky to me, but at the time it was pretty slim and you could get some good board feel out of this shoe. I love skating in it. The, I just remember seeing it for the first time, the transparent rubber on the sole, the shape, the little details on it. I still like this shoe. I might skate in that shoe too, but that's the final shoe. Hope you guys enjoy it.